Hello WON Theater fans, that guy here, back for another episode. Today, we got a very serious film, so I, I really don't know what to do. Because usually I'm big and goofy and make jokes and, and this is a very, very serious film. So uh, <clears throat> I'm going to be all sophisticated and serious like. <clears throat> Today, we have a film from my friends over at the Fault Line Players. It's called Hank. And I tell you what, it is serious. Man, it's a, it's a dark story about revenge. And you know, revenge is sweet. So are donuts. Now I want a donut. Joe Hank. This program contains dramatic subject material and dialogue, which some viewers may find suitable only for mature audiences. We bring this to your attention so that you may exercise your own discretion. Oh man, I love the outdoors. The trees, the bushes, the mountains, the fresh clean air. I can be hidden and see the whole path from here. It's the perfect place to watch them. Any hunter would be lucky to find a place like this. <laughs> Shit, they have to come right by here. All they have to do is reach out and wham. Too bad I'll have to leave soon. That's the part I hate the most. I find the perfect place and then just before you know it, it's time to move on. The hunt is the best part. Waiting till you see just the right one. There are so many of them, each one different. But I know what I want, what I'm looking for. <laughs> they walk by not knowing they might be the next. There she is, right on time, just like clockwork. Princess, come to mommy. Princess. Princess! Oh, where did you go? Come on, puppy! Looks like her little doggy got away from her today. She always walks by here the same way, the same time. Her mutt does its business, then she usually sits over there and reads for a while. When she's done, she moves up the path and passes by, right here, and arms reach away. It's different today. That damn princess! But no matter, <laughs> no matter. God, she's perfect. She looks so nice, so sweet. I wonder what her name is, what she does for a living. Can't think of that now. Come to Papa. The next best thing to the hunt is the capture. After these messages, <laughs> <laughs> trick or treat. <laughs> Wait till you hear what just happened. Thank you. 
Gloria Diaz. Gloria Diaz? Oh, yes. I'm Detective Kim Tanner. I need to go over a few things with you. Didn't I answer enough questions at the hospital? What more is there to say? Maybe there's something that you missed. Do I have to? I mean, right now? I know that this may be difficult for you, but I... Do you? What? Do you know how difficult this is for me? Can you tell me anything about the man who... Raped me? Yes. Princess! He drug me into the bushes. Ah! He had a knife. He ripped at my clothes. I don't know. Look, this bastard's been raping women for a year now. He moves from park to park. Whatever you can tell me, even the smallest detail, it may help. He wears a mask. Did you see the color of his eyes? Did you notice any tattoos or distinguishing marks? I know he wears a condom, so there's no DNA evidence. Gloria, please! If there's anything you can tell me, it may stop him from doing this to another woman. Don't you want to stop him? You need to continue while it's fresh in your memory. Believe me, I know. Go to hell! How dare you presume to know? You have no idea what this is like. Yes, I do. What? I said I do know. Last year, in the same park. I'm sorry, I... I don't want your sympathy. All I want from you is anything you can tell me so that I can stop this asshole. I know what he looks like. What? I saw his face. You saw his face? How? He wears a mask and when he's finished, he knocks you, his victims, out. While he was on top of me, doing his business, I pretended to pass out. I was hoping it would make him stop, but it didn't. When he was finished, he took off his mask and kissed me on the lips. Why didn't you say something sooner? I was afraid. If I get a sketch artist here, do you think you can describe him? His face, that's all I see when I close my eyes. Come on, come with me. That damn dog won't stop barking. Fucker bit me too. I love animals, I really do. I hated killing that dog. But what's up that goddamn barking? God. But she was worth it. Bitch was easier than most. I didn't have to hit her like the others. She faints. <laughs> Kinda ruined the moment. I love it when they fight. I love the look of fear in their eyes. Wish you could do this every night. But that'd be stupid. And if it's one thing I'm not, is stupid. I gotta get some rest. I gotta work. Can't get too greedy, Hank, old boy. There's always next week. There's always another. We'll return after these messages. Evidence of Metropolis Science Department claims that the quakes are aftershocks coming from the town of Lakeland. The most disturbing part is that the evidence points to the abandoned Mark Luther pool house. After today, I am going to make sure 
that whoever did this goes down and I will take this whole place with it. God. I have a strange feeling I know where this is coming from. And if I'm right, there's gonna be hell to pay. What are you doing? Get in here. What is this place? It's an old bomb shelter. My grandfather built it in the 50s. There used to be a cabin a couple hundred yards from here, but it burnt down when I was a kid. I only come out here when it's necessary. So you inherited this place and the land? Yeah. How did your father die? He was stabbed. It was his last week of duty. He was retiring. His beat was the park uptown. Just two hours into his shift and he came across some woman getting raped by a guy. He saved the woman. The rapist got away. <clears throat> I want to thank you for working so closely with me these last two weeks. You were right. I couldn't let him continue. Yeah. Well, it's almost over with. Yes. You cold? No, I just... Don't worry. But what if someone finds out? I took care of everything. But what if? Nothing's gonna happen. Kim, I don't know if I can do this. You have to trust me. This is the right thing to do. Trust me? Yeah. doing here? Why did I let Kim talk me into this? You know, she said it would do me some good to come up here. It would help me. How is this going to help me? It's not too late. We, we don't have to stay here. We can go back. Come on, just walk. Watch your step. That last one's a doozy. <laughs> Get up, you fuck! Kim, let's stop this before it's too late! It is too late! No, it's not! We can't do this! It's not right! It couldn't be more right! It's justice! Grab that chair and put it here! Come on, help me! Get up! I don't think I can do this! Look at him! I said, look at him! This is the scum that's been raping and humiliating women. He's the piece of shit that raped and humiliated you? That young girl a week after you? Me? And he was getting away with it until now. I know what he did. He did it to me, but I can't do this. This would make us no better than him. I thought you understood. I do. I did understand 
All the reasons you gave made sense, but... But what? Let me remind you why we are here. To serve up a justice you know the courts will never give us. You don't know that! I've been working with the Special Victims Unit for six years. If there's one thing I've learned, it's that the victim is usually made to be the loser. They're made to look as if they deserved it. They were in the wrong place. They didn't fight back. They wore the wrong clothes. The rapist is set free or given too light of a sentence. They return to the streets and they never stop. What the hell's going on? Shut the hell up. Uh, ah, Kim, uh, stop! Uh, You're right. I want him to suffer uh, first. Do I, do I know you? You both look kind of familiar. How quickly you forget, Hank, or were there just so many that you can't keep track? Oh yeah! The yappy little mutt! Oh, Mid-City Park, God, I love that park! It's my favorite. I really hated killing that dog. <laughs> Shut up! You don't talk! We do all the talking, understood? Last year, the cop I tagged. <laughs> Gloria, are you ready to do this? Do what? Just what do you have planned? He's a monster. Hey, now that hurt my feelings. Let's take him in. It's not too late. We've come too far to turn back now. What the fuck's going on? Where the hell am I? You'll find out soon enough. <clears throat> You're in an underground shelter, Hank. No one knows that we're here or that this place even exists. I'm gonna go finish digging. Take this. Take it! Doing some gardening? I've never shot a gun before. I don't think I can. Believe me, when the time comes, you'll have no problem. Just point and shoot. And don't get too close to this prick. And don't listen to anything he has to say. He may be one sick fuck, but sick fucks like him can be very manipulative. Oh. And if he flinches, shoot him. <laughs> hey, Gloria, what's your partner doing? She looking for gold? You can tell me, Gloria. I'm the one who's handcuffed, and you have the gun. Come on, what's your partner digging? I promise not to tell. Your grave. <laughs> so you and the cop brought me here to kill me. Yes. <laughs> Stop it! Stop laughing! Uh, I'm sorry, this is just so fucking funny. What's so funny? That a cop and a school teacher are no different than me. We're nothing like you. Yes, you are. Sit down. You hunted me down, then laid in wait. And when the moment was right, wham! Here I am, handcuffed in the middle of nowhere, waiting to die. Admit it, the hunt was the best part. I said sit down. How clever you were, pretending to faint when I was... Raping me? How did you know? I'm a good actor too, Gloria. You see, on the way here, I came to. I just laid in the back seat, truly enjoying the chat you two had. I am curious, though. I know you don't want to do this. So tell me, how did Tanner talk you into this? You better sit down. Come on, Gloria, if I'm going to die. Shut up! Shut up! <sighs> okay, okay. She didn't talk me into this, Hank. She didn't have to. After I gave Kim your description, she took me to the park where I was raped. And there you were, Ranger Miller, helping tourists. It made me sick. Kim remembered how helpful you were during her investigation of your third victim. Do you remember your third victim? Oh yeah. The Jamaican woman who strolled through the park. The nanny. And the woman after her? Do you remember her? Detective Kim Tanner. She was my biggest prize! A cop from Special Victims? Sweet! What convinced me to go along with Kim's plan was a trial she took me to. A young married woman had been raped several times by the same man. I sat in that courtroom and couldn't believe what I heard. His lawyer drug that poor woman through the mud, bringing up past sexual experiences an affair her husband didn't even know about. That bottom feeder ruined that young woman's life. And even with all of the evidence pointing to the guilt of the rapist, he was found not guilty. Not guilty. I can't let that happen to me. <laughs> oh, man, she's got you good. What? 
Tanner, she's using you and you don't even know it. She's not using me. Yes, she is. How? I heard you, remember? In the car on the way here. Your goody two-shoe attitude, fighting with your anger, your hate. We can't do this. Is this the right thing to do? So, Gloria, what is the right thing to do? This is! Then shoot! Stop! Shoot! I said stop! You can't because you know it's wrong. I hate you. <laughs> Why can't we all just get along? Thanks, sweetie. How did you? The key, that's how. But I had the key. Oh, come on. In the car on the way here. You took your coat off and covered me with it so I wouldn't get cold. You two bitches are going to kill me, and you're worried about me getting cold. How sweet. Now what? Though this has been fun. I thought I'd step the party up a bit. You know, set my sights higher. I should thank you and Tanner. You show me there could be an extra kick to what I do. Why stop at rape? Why not add a little death to the mix? So first, I'm gonna do you. Then I'm gonna kill you. When your partner comes back, I'm gonna do her, then kill her. I'll bury both your bodies in the grave she's been digging for me. And voila! Not only have I stepped up my game, but I get the perfect place to do it in. What about Kim? Don't forget she has a gun. You see how you are? Always thinking of others. I bet you're a great school teacher. But don't worry about me, sweetie. Stop! Get away from her! You shoot me, I shoot her. Put your gun down. Fuck you! <laughs> we'll be doing that soon enough. Now put your gun down. I'll take my chances. And chances are that I'll kill you before you can kill her. You are a bitch. You conned this poor woman into helping you. And now you're gambling with her life? What kind of fucked up psycho cop are you? I can't let you live. Even if it means she loses her life. What a piece of work. I don't believe you. You're willing to kill an innocent person just to get to me. Oh well. You'll have to look the guilt. The image of me blowing off her face. Fine. If it has to be this way. Stop! Excuse me? I said stop. Why? You're right. I can't let you kill her. What's going on? Is there someone else here? Are they waiting for me to make my move? Give me your gun. Give it. And get over there. Sit down. Take the handcuffs off and put them on. Hands behind your back. Hurry up. Give me the key, idiot. Uh, why, Hank? Why what? Why rape? I like it. It's fun. Could you help me? Be my pleasure. I'm not gonna knock you out this time. I want you to enjoy this. You figured it out. The right thing to do. That wasn't very nice. See, I told you when the time came, you'd have no problem doing the right thing. Can you get the keys from that piece of shit? Gloria! What? The key in his top pocket. Thanks. Well, this isn't how I wanted this to go down. I really wanted him to suffer first. You know, shoot his balls off. What? What's wrong? He said we were no better than him. Bullshit! We brought a man out here to kill him. To murder him! No. We brought a rapist. A serial rapist out here to execute him, to save society from the likes of him, to help you. How come I don't feel any better? It'll take time, but you will. I hope you're right. I am, trust me. I guess we better get this over with. I'll have to get the wheelbarrow. I'm just glad this is over. Over? Yes. 
It's not over. We're not done. What? I said, it's not over, partner. I'm not doing this again. Yes, you are. You see, while I was digging out there, I thought having a partner made this so easy. It was harder when I was doing it by myself. It'll be great. You and me out there exterminating all those fucking dirt bags. We can take turns being bait. I have all the information on the local rape cases. We can set the trap, then wham, snag them. The hunt will be the best part. You're crazy. Crazy? No. You see, when this pile of shit raped me, it opened my eyes. I always did everything by the book just to watch scum like Hank go free. But not anymore. I do things my way now. What if I refuse? You won't. You killed Hank, not me. You'll come to love it. I will, however, have to teach you to be more careful around trash like this. It'll take time to train you, but it'll be worth it. You'll see. How can you be so sure? Because after the first couple of times, it gets easier. Shit, after a while, it'll be fun. I've got a hundred acres out there. There's plenty of space, partner. Now this message. I told you it was serious. Yeah, them folks at the Fault Line players know what they're doing, huh? Did you enjoy Hank? Boy, I sure did. If you want to find out more about WON Theater, including air times and what stations it airs on, go to WONNewYork.net. Till next time, I'll see you later. <laughs>